Hello everyone, this is Neha Sharma once again with you and today in this video we will learn how to change direct speech into indirect speech when the tense in the direct speech is given in the past tense. So dear students, we learnt in the previous videos about the present tense, okay, all the aspects of present tense and we learnt that that is changes into past tense with some basic rules. Uh, that uh, comma you have to change with that means what conjunction you have to add there and uh, uh, you have to remove the uh, quotation marks while changing that into indirect speech and some basic rules of changing the pronouns so today we will do rule number five where we will learn that if the direct speech if the verb in the direct speech is given in simple past means verb second is given to you in the question so that you have to change into past perfect that is had plus verb third so this is the rule number five okay rule number five says if verb in direct speech is in simple past means verb second it changes into past perfect means had plus verb third in indirect speech okay so shortcut is this verb second changes into had plus verb third that is past perfect and this is what this is simple past so let's see the examples of this with the basic rules we have to change that first is he said i saw a joker he said i saw a joker so this he said you have to write down same which is reported uh, clause you can say he said comma you have to change here that now i you have to change with he or she here it is what he so you have to change it with he now sa is the second form that you have to change into had plus verb third so had is had and what is verb third of uh, the sa see sa sin okay so that is seen a joker j o c k e r and in the end you will place a full stop okay you will not add the quotation marks here so this is the answer when the direct speech is given to you with simple past so that you have changed into past perfect let's see the second one she said she broken uh, she broken the sorry she broke the glass she said comma she broke the glass broke is second uh, verb here right so answer is she said at the place of this comma that this punctuation uh, this quotation marks you have to remove so this she will be what she broke the glass this is let's do here i okay she said i broke the glass so i changes with what i changes with he or she but here the subject is what she so as per she we have to change that is she right she now broke is second form what is the third form of that had uh, broken right and we have to add what here had then broken the glass so that is the change broke was second and broken was third so had broken next is they said to their coach we won the match now here it is said to okay so said to changes into told so answer is they told their coach that now we changes into we changes into they right so they one is second form third is had one the match please don't pronounce this word as one this is one okay one w o n is one he said comma i did not enjoy the party so what is the answer he said he said this comma you have to remove from here he said at the place of this you have uh, to write down that i changes into he or she right so he is there so we will do he 
he now did not enjoy did did is second verb right this is the helping verb of past simple past so what do you have to change that into had plus verb third so he had not had not enjoyed enjoyed the party okay here we are uh, we have used enjoy only because did is there okay so did not enjoy that is past negative simple past negative sentence we are using here so that did not enjoy we change it to had not enjoyed right so that is what we have to do in rule number 5 when direct speech the verb of the direct speech is given into simple past that changes into had plus verb third take the screenshot of this quickly and then we will do the next rule of past tense now let's talk about rule number 6 which is an aspect of past tense only and here we are talking about past continuous so when dear students the speech the direct speech is given to you uh, with you know the verb that is uh, in past continuous means was were plus verb was plus ing that changes into past perfect continuous right it's a simple in simple way you have to uh, do this if the verb in the direct speech is given in past continuous that is was or were plus verb was plus ing it changes into past perfect continuous so what is the structure of past perfect continuous this is had been plus verb first plus ing right it means this was and were changes into had been okay so in some of the books you will find out that was were changes into had been so it is what it is simple uh, past continuous changes into past perfect continuous right so that we have to do so let's practice the sentences of uh, this type he said i was writing a story he said i was writing a story so this comma you have to remove i have to uh, you have to remove this was you have to change with had been writing will be writing because that is verb first plus ing here so let's see what is the answer answer is he said what is there in reported clause he said so that will be he said comma changes into that i changes into he was changes into had been right and then same it's b double e n had been writing w r i t i n g a story full stop like this you have to change next is she said my mother was washing the clothes now she said this is reported clause comma you have to change these uh, quotation marks you have to remove from here my mother was washing the clothes so my you have to change with he, he or she right here we are talking about she so that will change into her sorry my changes into her or him so that will change into her mother was changes into had been washing remains washing the clothes so that is the answer so let's see what is the exact complete answer of this it is she said she said that my mother so my changes into his or her right according to the gender so that is what she so her mother was is had been washing is washing the clothes you must notice how easy it is only what you have to do the change of the verb that which verb will changes into which one that you have to learn only with the change of pronouns that's it it's quite easy next third one is they said uh, we were watching sher shah sher shah is very famous movie nowadays so they said they said it this is reported clause here comma you have to remove we changes into they were changes into had been watching sher shah that will that will be same so answer is they said 
they said that we changes into they right they had been had been watching shirsha full stop right so like this you have to change please take the screenshot and note it down and here i want to tell you the rule number 6 will be of what the rule number 6 uh, will be of past perfect past perfect so past perfect if the verb in the reported speech in the direct speech is given into past perfect that does not change i'll tell you how i will write down the sentence of past perfect here and uh, then i will solve that but before that you just take the screenshot of this note it down and then we will discuss that past perfect why this remains unchanged so quickly take the screenshot of this so the next rule rule number 7 which is quite important and students uh, try sometime to change this also so the very important thing you have noticed here that past perfect if the direct speech is given in past perfect that remains unchanged means the sentence we will the verb we will keep as it is we will only do the change in the basic changes that is the pronouns or the commas that we have to remove only for example he said i had done my homework so had done that is what had plus verb third this is the structure of past perfect right so this will remain unchanged here but the basic changes you will do he said commas changes into what that this he you will change with uh, sorry i you will change with he now it is had done okay so had done you must notice you must remember that uh, when we did this rule number 5 this is here simple past we change into had plus verb third so the same pattern is given here okay you cannot change into simple past it students think sometime they just want to practice this also that they will change simple this have verb uh, had plus verb third into verb second so that will be wrong okay so this is not any rule so what you will do when you will get direct speech in had plus verb third like uh, past perfect you will not change the verb of that but you will change the basic changes only that the pronouns so this had done his home work right so like this you will do the changes here uh, thank you very much for today in the next video we will learn how to change if how to change if the direct speech is given in future tense so let's wait for that and uh, do this complete do a lot of practice from your practice books thank you very much